Alrighty guys, so tonight we're actually going to be walking through the mangroves over here and we're going to be walking through with our nets looking for some squid and maybe even mud crabs just hanging around all the, um, all the mangroves having to feed. And um, if we get anything, hopefully some squid, we can cook up some calamari for you guys. Okay, so. We have to like walk around here. Oh look, squid, 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 squid. Ready? Yep, go on him, got him. All right, so this is the first squid we've got today. All right, so hopefully you can see that guys on the GoPro. This is one squid. We're gonna cook him up for you guys and make some calamari. All right, so he was just sitting around the shallows. Giant muddy. <gasps> Dude, scoop him up, scoop him up, scoop him up. Shiny. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here. You get him? Yeah. Dude, oh, he might be legal. All righty guys, so this is the squid that we caught last night. It's the next day now. We're gonna show you how to cut it all up and get it ready to cook. And then we'll show you how to um, make uh, either a batter or a crumbing for it. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is cut off just these little flaps that helps it swim. Just cut it. Alright, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out all it's eyes, it's tentacles, and there's a hard shell in the middle. You're going to want to get all of that out because you just want to eat all this outside part. So I'm just going to cut straight through here. So you got to cut out. There is different ways to do this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. Oh, look at all the ink. All right, so sorry about the change of camera, but we actually just ran out of battery on one of my cameras. So now we're just changing to the iPhone. So you're gonna to want to get rid of all of this skin and stuff. You can you can get rid of that if you want. That's what I'm going to. Alrighty, guys. So the next thing that you need to do is, if you have a pair of pliers, there's just this. It's like plastic. It's like a big. See? It's like weird. It's like clear. It's so weird. Alright. So the next thing you're actually gonna to want to do is once you got all the mo the majority of the guts and everything out of there, you can just cut it into like calamari sizes so they're like rings. Alrighty guys, so for this crumbing for this calamari, we're gonna be using just this crumb mixture. I don't know what exactly it is. Some flour, two eggs and some milk to go in with the egg. So first we're going to put out the flour first. Two eggs. One. Next thing you're going to want to mix in with that is some milk. Two crumbs. So you're going to want to put it in your flour first. Just going to pour that all over. Like that. Then in your egg. So it's like that. Then straight in your crumbs. Put that all in there. Mix it all like that. Do that to the rest of them. Alright, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is have a stove and a pan or a gas burner, but it's a bit too dark to use the gas burner. So, and then you're going to want to turn it on like as full, like as high as it goes. And you're going to want some olive oil and you just put that in the pan like that. And then once it heats up and you can drop some crumbs in there and then if it's sizzling, then it should be good to cook the honey yeah. now as you can see I dropped the crumb in there and it's all sizzling now so we're just going to put in some of these just like that looks really good 
You know what I mean? Then you want to cook them for about probably two minutes and then probably a minute on each side till they're crispy anyway. All right, so as you can see, this is getting crispy, so it's ready to flip into that side. Then we'll do this to the rest of them and eat them for you guys. All right, so we've just um, cooked up these this calamari and we're going to try it for you guys. I don't know how it's going to taste. From a shop, it tastes good, but never done it myself so here we go that is actually so good oh, it's hot but oh that's so good is it actually good I'm gonna steal a piece Make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this, Catching Cooks. I'm going to be doing plenty more of them to come. Alright guys, and if you'd like to check my Instagram out, the link will be in the description. It's just Ethan underscore underscore sour.